I just fed my puppy and now it's time for us to go get breakfast ourselves. Today we're getting McDonald's because I've been eating healthy breakfast most of the time. So today we decided to let ourselves rest a little bit and grab some McDonald's. I haven't had a McDonald's in a month or two. I haven't properly explained what this video is about yet. But I just wanted to make this video kind of vloggish and kind of just show you how I balance my life between school, work, and friendships, and downtime, and health. And I feel like it's really crucial that there's a balance between everything. Otherwise, you're either going to stress yourself out or not be able to achieve anything. I just tied my hair up because it feels like 40 degrees today, the sun is burning, and I am sweating a lot, but I guess that's not the point. The point is what I'm going to do next, right? Next week is my school's quarter exams, and I got to study for that. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys some study methods I have uh, along the way. One thing I do suggest is to prioritize what you're going to study. My problem subject is math, so I'm going to be doing some extra math studying. And right now, what I usually like to do, well not usually, but I just kind of started doing this today, is that I'm going to write down all my formulas, like all the main formulas of the coursework that I learned. and. So it would kind of be like a little formula cheat sheet, even though you can't bring it in, you can kind of go over the main formulas. I'm going to dance class later, and I just want to look pretty, you know? So I don't do makeup every day, but sometimes I like to do makeup just for the fun of it. And like everyone, I'm actually also trying to find a balance between having an obsession with makeup and doing it for fun. I made myself a promise that I'll wear little to no makeup to school, and I have done that. On a few days where I'm wearing contact lenses, I might do minimal, like actually minimal makeup to make myself feel better. But on a general speaking hand, I usually do like full faced for me only and not for like anybody else not for anyone else to see me or it's basically only on like family gatherings auditions or like dance class or like you know when i'm going out to take instaparent pictures or some things that i actually want to put in the effort to dress up later i'm going to dance class with my best friend rachel and one of my best friend's sister karina I did a poll a while back and then most of you guys said that you didn't wear makeup and I feel like that's amazing too. You definitely do not need makeup to feel pretty. If you actually like yourself without makeup, then that's like the goal. That's like everyone's goal to feel pretty without makeup, I guess. So kudos to that. I know some of you guys are wondering like, bro, what are you doing? Next week is quarter exams and you're still dancing? But I feel like dance is also an exercise and not only an exercise, but also a way for me to relax amidst all the struggles and all the stress that has been coming down on students and, you know, just a little activity that you enjoy or an exercise can really lighten up your mood. So, um, look at that right 
Rachel show off her phone case. Yay! <laughs> she drew it herself. It's really cute. going out with my friends after exams and I'm really excited about that. Don't let schoolwork consume you. I'm not telling you to hang out with your friends like two days before exams but after exams please let yourself take a rest. Even if you don't want to hang out with your friends you could you know let yourself take a rest alone and don't just like start studying right away. A few moments later we just had our history exam. Yeah. It was like really bad. Yeah, it was really bad. Like my hands <laughs> hurt so much right now. You know how I was talking about dedicating time to your friends? And this does not only apply to friends, it can also apply to your family and your romantic relationships. And I feel like a really important aspect of this is time management. Um, you want to be able to balance school work time and also people time properly because neglecting either one is really harmful for your mental health. How do you guys feel about exams? I don't want to tell. Oh, terrible. She's absent. Amen. <laughs> Birthday girl to get in Nothing, I feel betrayed. Yes, bye. <laughs> These people, we're the traitors, traitors, traitors. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's yeah, raid the pantry. Here's a little reminder that you are enough and you are growing so please be kind to yourself along your growth journey and I believe that you'll be able to achieve anything that you want without the stress that you're enduring or should I say at least you can relieve the stress a bit and live your life. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.